All right, we're back with our second second part of our uh, Easter ladder grind. Uh, we went three and two in the first half, which is not great. Um, ran into a counter after going a pre pretty much a pre well not a straight counter, but we got we ran into two sludge belters and a Misha after a thought steal, so pretty upsetting. Um, but we'll try to we get we're up against Kate Moss though, so our day is looking around. Turn, looking to turn around. We're going first. Um, if it is Zulok, Explosive Trap is okay. Um, we'll get rid of it, though. We'll keep the Haunted Creeper for early game. Hopefully, we will not draw. And we got the Mad Scientist, so that's good, too. But we didn't draw one drop. We're going first again. I feel like we've gone first an exorbitant amount of times. I mean, there we go second, but maybe it's just because I'm biased. Holy crap. It's a Murloc deck. Which means we need we need a mad scientist out there ASAP so we can get rid of all of these jerks. Alright. So what we'll do is we will we'll kill this. And then Eagle Horn bow into his face. We get Timberwolf, we're gonna get huge value off that combo. Alright. I said, so we can proc hit. Um, and then we'll hit him in the face. The only thing that would be a little upsetting here is that if he has the guy that gives plus the health to everything, but if he's only going to give them to, this, to these guys to just save them, it's not a big deal for us. Um, next turn, we'll look at... Uh, whoa! This guy's deck is crazy. Alright, but he's going to lose the value off of that. So, Plus, he, has, he can't like combo buff right now either. So, oh wait, no, he can play more cards. Oh, there we go. All right, so we're gonna take two here. So he's got five on the board. We're even, but uh, what we can do? Oh, actually, so I like this play much better now. We're gonna get eight to his face and get basically the same amount of power as the board as he has. Um, the only thing we're scared about now is the him like buffing Murlocs up crazy. But we're not too scared of it, to be honest. All right, so he's going to Mortal Coil. That's okay. He's going to probably run this into this and do three to our face. Okay. All right, so next turn is going to be a really good Unleash the Hounds turn. What is happening? All right, so that's okay, too. All right, so this is what we'll do. We'll do Unleash the Hounds. Uh, we're going to kill off this guy first. And we'll, we'll get rid of these. Since he can't buff anything, we'll uh, we'll do two. Like, we're not too scared of this guy, so we'll just go face. He only has two cards maximum. And this isn't, uh, this isn't a Murloc, so... Um, basically, if he leaves up one of these, we win because we have two Arcane Golems to finish it. And I doubt this deck is running Taunts. Yeah. So if he buffs these, again, we don't have to worry about it because he's not buffing the hun Hungry Crab. And we win the game. I haven't seen a Murloc, de a Murloc deck in a long time, so this makes me mildly happy. Uh, we can just kill Command him, too. Whatever. Screw you, Murloc. Screw you, Murloc. Really, all of the aggro decks, Zoo, Murloc, like, they've all been replaced, unfortunately, by Face Hunter, because it just does things more efficiently. Again, I don't think the Hungry Crab, uh, again, he didn't get to buff his Murlocs with, like, his Murloc, the heal guy and the war guy, so we probably won because we got good draws, too, but I, I don't think that deck is, is really strong. Um... I must protect the one. Let the hunt begin.
Uh, so we're going second, and we have Knife Juggler. Or we're going, yeah. Um, so we'll drop, we'll keep uh, the Iron Beak Owl for um, getting rid of Taunts. Yeah, TIP is destroying gravity in this game, too. Uh, and we'll play Leopard on the start. We'll go into Glaive Zuka turn two and hit him in the face. Uh, we don't need to be. We could. I think maybe we should have coined into Knife Juggler, but he's probably going to. No, he's not going to shape shift. He's going to Wild Grove. Wow, maybe we should have coined into Juggler. Um, so we can actually put Juggler out on turn two and go for his base. And then we can Glaive Zuka on turn three. What's ever left? And then Mad Scientist. Oh, no, we can't. Oh, maybe coin in that side. Oh, so he top decked Wrath, which is mildly upsetting. So he's actually going to be able to clear our entire board. Which isn't terrible, but it's not good. We should have coined. Looking looking back at it, we should have coined in some knife juggler on turn one. We would have done more damage. Uh, so we have Animal Companions. We're going to throw that out there. It's going to be that guy. We don't have any charge cards in our deck, though, so that's mildly upsetting. Uh, next turn we can glaive zuka and go face um if we need to we can silence a, a taunt if it comes out which is about to happen or he's gonna heal or he's gonna play dr boom so we'll play mad scientist oh we should have played it second though yep because now we lost that damage we lost one damage because we're bad um so he'll probably throw boom bots into the scientist i would assume um or he'll taunt which would be a, or he'll play a taunt which would be okay for us oh wow he actually So that'll clear the other boom bot, but we'll take whatever damage it has to our face. Let's we'll see what he plays here. It's gonna be a taunt. All right, that's okay. We can get around that. He does have a lot of damage on the board, though. All right, so we have a second mad scientist. Uh, we'll play it. We'll also taunt that. We'll coin into our hero power since we we just need to keep doing damage. And we'll uh, hit him in the face. Since we have Glaive Zuka next turn, we don't really care. Um, this the second hero power or the second um, uh, trap is actually going to do secret is going to do some work. All right, so he has a second wrath. So we had both of his wraths in the first twenty cards, which is pretty bad for us. Um, but you know, can't win every game. I must and he's gonna get to silence that so you know now we're in a real bad spot because we're getting super unlucky well what we do is we pray to the Lord on this Thanksgiving that we draw into unleash the hounds and if we do that we might win but we also might just lose on this turn anyways. That belongs in a museum. That is actually very bad for us. Because now even Unleash the Hounds doesn't win us the game. Unfortunately. Again, we lose Druids. We just keep losing the druids. I do think we misplayed though knife juggler at the beginning. Needed a knife juggler in to start. The second wrath is big for him too. The fact that he was able to silence the like that matchup's just so bad. There's so many ways to deal with the things we're throwing at him uh, plus his hero power at least negates half of my hero power and he can help and he can clear with it so you asked for it. Let the hunt begin. all right so 
This is a matchup that's a little better for us. We'll keep Timberwolf, but we're obviously playing Mad Scientist on turn one from the coin. Um, okay, so we drew our second Explosive Trap, even though we threw the first one away, which is super upsetting. Um, but we want to get Mad Scientist out as quickly as possible so we can get the Explosive Trap out there. We assume this is uh, just this guy's just as dirty as us, and he's playing Mech Mage. He definitely is playing Mech Mage, so we don't we don't really care um, fight, about Mirror Entity. There's not too many cards that we really, really care about, um, so that's okay. Like, this is probably, like, an early Mad Scientist is probably the worst start for him uh, in this matchup. He's trying to figure out whether he should proc my trap or not. I can only assume this is Mirror Entity. Uh, I don't know if Mirror Entity procs on Animal Companion. I just kind of want to see. Alright, it doesn't. This is good to know. Uh, so summon things don't proc. Uh, he can't attack my face without doing two damage to himself. Alright, so he's going to heal. It's not a big deal. Um... What we'll do is we'll play Leper Gnome. This should proc it. Oh, wow. Alright, we'll play Wolf Rider. And then... Alright, so this is a... This is a Freeze Mage, I'm assuming. Which changes what we should be doing lately. But, um... So we need to burn down as quickly as possible. Proc this, and then have it in steady shot range for the proc. The fact that he is playing this as if this so this this is gonna put uh, the ice thing in there. I'm pretty sure uh, we're not gonna get enough value right now out of the Timberwolf combo. So we'll play uh, let's play this like this. Uh, we're gonna have to burn through eight more health because this is gonna put uh, I, this is ice block. This is gonna be ice shield or whatever. Um, so that'll be a little bit more of a problem. We do need to we do need to get rid of that secret as quickly as possible though, um, and if we could do it without like attacking his face to proc the one that he's gonna get from the mad scientist that'd be great. But I don't know if that's gonna be possible. There's not too many cards like creature cards that this deck plays, so that's gonna be a problem for us too. Okay, so he's gonna get that from there. Um, what, what we can do is we can see, yep, so that's going to be eight, 8 armor, Ice Barrier, that's what it's called. So we can hit him here. And we still have our, uh, so he's got to play Secrets out of his hand now. Uh, we got to try to get rid of this before turn 9, before his Alex draws a turn. Because that's going to be a huge uh, drawback for us. So we can do 5 no matter what, and whenever he attacks he's going to take 2. But really, he's not going to attack face either. He's going to, uh, he's going to do spells to us. So, our explosive trap in our hand is pretty much dead. You require my assistance. All right. So he's going to start trying to play fireballs. Um, how much damage is this? We, so we have 2, 7, 8, 9, 10. We have 10 damage. He has 12 here. Mm. I hunt alone. So we can't proc it this turn. He is going to be... It. We actually... We might want to clear this. Which, we're going to do this... Th This is so bad. We did this so wrong. We should have just took the five damage. But we'll just kill it. That way. So 
So we still have five damage to his face. We're hoping he doesn't draw another another ice barrier. Um, so he's only, he's only gonna have six mana this turn. I think stopping him from getting uh, fireballs is probably good for us. All right, so he's looking to draw cards. We're looking for charges. All right, so that's all but one of the damage. So he can no longer effectively attack us on our turn with creatures. Like he can draw this turn. And he can put us down to eight with Alex Straza. We can pop his thing. But then he can't use Alex Straza to come at our face. He's going to Alex Straza himself. Holy crap. What? That's actually a really good play. I didn't think of that. Now we're going to take a butt ton of damage. We lost. Like, there's no way we can get through 15 damage again. Well played. We need a, like a, like, and we don't have quick shot. So this would be a, a good time for quick shot, but we don't have quick shot, obviously. And he can actually do 30 damage this turn. Or we can't, he can do pretty much all of it. We can't win, there's no way. Yeah, we played our opening hand to kind of counter Mech Mage to have uh, the traps in it, but unfortunately, that wasn't the, what we were playing against, so we're back down to even this today. We're four and four. Lexa oh my god. Versus Gaina. You asked for it. Let the hunt begin. We're going first, which kind of stinks. We'll keep the Eagle Horn Bow Mad Scientist combo. Hopefully we're not playing Freeze Mage again, because it's not a great matchup for us. Uh, we'll play Mad Scientist on two. We're going to draw one drop, unfortunately. Okay, so this time we are indeed playing against Mech Mage. There's our one drop that I needed. So we'll start it off with uh, Mad Scientist here. Okay, so Mech Warper right away. We'll get rid of that. We will definitely get rid of the Mech Warper because it's just too, like him playing cards of, on, above curve is gonna hurt us too much. Plus we're gonna slow him down with the, um, with the explosive trap. The next turn we can play Animal Companion into Leper Gnome. And this doesn't matter. This is just basically going to proc our trap, so. Play Animal Companion. Nice. It's Leper Gnome. And then we're not going to attack because we need this to proc the trap, so. He's going to go here and then probably do this. Um, so we won't even get to proc the trap. Oh, he's. Okay, so this is Explosive Trap. Then we know that. So we obviously want to use um, do we want to clear this or this? Man. He's probably running one of these two. What's the best way to do this? Well, we just don't have too many cards to play. Oh, we can't run this into this. Doesn't make sense. Oh, I guess we'll clear that. We'll have to pass. Our 
hands were really bad. Two RMV gals, our second RMV gal draw was bad. <sighs> of course. I'll show them. I'll show them all. I think we've lost this matchup now. Like that's such a big swing. Well, well, we'll get a chance. Yeah, I think playing. So I think playing the kill command this turn is better. Um, he's gonna clear this into this. We assume there's no other secret because it like. I doubt he's putting in other secrets if he's playing Mech Mage, so uh, I'm assuming this will fizzle. That was correct. We need to unleash the Hounds, basically. Um, but we have the Iron Beak Owl to just kind of play for. For dudes. So, this is six. Oh, yeah. oh he's going to fireball our face. He's going to try to keep rushing us down. We can't actually play Unleash the Howl. Un uh, oh, excuse me. Oh, Iron Beak Owl. We can't Unleash the Howl. It's not enough. And we can't give him another guy. If he has more direct damage, we lose. And we just... Unfortunately... If, we t if he doesn't, there's a potential that we win next turn. And he's already used two of his direct damages. He doesn't... Okay. So now there's a high potential that we win. That is it, I think. This should mirror me? Is this all beast? Oh, your other beast. Okay, whatever. But that's okay, because it actually gives us six. Well, it didn't matter because we had this, but I didn't even think of that prior. So we didn't actually need anything. We just needed him to play one dude. All right, so that was a little bit closer, and we got a little bit countered, but we uh, we played through that one. Uh, I think procking the explosive trap. I mean, explosive trap in the matchup is so in the matchup against other hunters is so bad. So getting rid of that pretty quickly it was had was a key to winning that game. So, another mildly bad matchup for us. And we're going first. We're going to drop both Arcane Golden and Wolf Rider. We're going to keep Iron Beak Owl because, again, Sludge Belcher is such a big deal in this matchup. We're going to get a second Iron Beak Owl, which probably isn't great, but we are going to get a one drop, which is good for us. So, we'll be able to drop Leper Gnome right away, which is super good for us. Another pass. Um, there's probably nothing he can really do against it. So jo Zombie Chow is bad for us, but that's okay. Um. I guess we'll just go face and hit. We didn't draw a weapon, which is sad, but... So he's just going to hit here. Um, we have Explosive Trap, so uh, we'll kill this pretty soon. But he's going to be able to heal up right now, so we can't do too much. Um... Putting out Arcane Golem. He's going to give him another mana, but I think doing four right now is probably good. Obviously, we're not going to play Unleash the Hounds. And I think just staying on Mana Curve right now is probably the best thing we can do. Really, effectively, that's only two mana or two damage. Um, but. Alright, so there's his first taunt. He's. So. The fact that he's playing Death Lords tells me that this is a direct counter to us. Because he's probably got Death Lords and Sludge Belchers, and we're just hoping he didn't draw them all. Um, but it's kind of good for us because we're going to be able to keep them on the board. Alright, so he's going to heal himself, which is fine. Good pass. Um, so we have a Timberwolf, unleash the, the, unleash the Hounds combo, but we really don't have anything to do. So this is looking bad for us. Like we needed to draw some like a 
a weapon or a charge guy there, but we didn't get one. All right, that's actually not terrible for us. Uh, but we, we are going to need some more damage prior to using our combo. All right, so that's some of it. And we're going to try to get as much off on this as we can. So we'll do eight this turn. Um, basically, the most we can do with this combo is 12, which would be a full board without a taunt, which would be six of those charge guys. But ugh, more heal. We're going to have to just face the explosive, like put down the explosive trap. We're actually, we're just kind of running out of options. Um, Glaive Zuki here isn't that good either, but we don't really have a choice. We're trying, we gotta, like, play around his heals, so. Uh, best case scenario for the 10 damage would be a board of 5 creatures. Uh, so we could do 5 Hounds, 1 Timberwolf, and 1 Iron Beak Owl. The light does not it is a... Uh, wow. This is super annoying. Well, what we'll do is we'll play this to split them. So we have more creatures on the board. I don't know if that's right or not, but we know it's going to split them, so. We're hoping he plays two creatures and does not heal somehow, but that's the odds of that happening are pretty low. He only needs two damage to the win, so if he has like a um, a soul priestess, a Chani, we lose. All right, he's going to clear those. We need him to play. Oh, he's just going to heal. And then take four to our face. Which unfortunately means for us, we can't just... So he has more than eight damage on the board. It tells me he doesn't have two... Unless he really, really misplayed that, he doesn't have two damage in his hand. So what we can do is we'll play the combo and clear off his his winning condition, like his win there. And then we'll do five, we'll end up doing seven, or, or eight, excuse me, to him. And then pass. So if he doesn't j draw a Chani and he can't clear the board, we can potentially win this turn with a good draw. He's gonna be effectively at eight health. Which means we need to get one damage if we draw up. So he actually missed lethal last turn. Which is good to know. So. And gave me a chance to win, but. That is mildly unfortunate. We're running into just straight counters, but we're gonna keep playing it because, well, we could go back to, we'll play one more. Okay, actually, we'll play one more and then go on a break. Uh, well, depending on what we see here, we'll change to maybe, um, all right, so this is a decent match for us. I will fight with honor. Let the hunt begin. We'll drop Wolf Rider. We're going second, so we can coin into like Mad Scientist or Haunted Creeper. Or we can actually maybe just play Leper Gnome. Actually, this gives us the choice to play like Mad Scientist and then on turn two play Leper Gnome and Abusive Sergeant. Which actually seems okay. Um, we do want an owl for this matchup because um, there are taunts. All right, so that's okay. So we're going to get four in, but we're going to lose one of our damage, but that's okay. Fight. Um, he can't uh, play. What's the card? Uh, he can't play uh, Consecration this turn, so we're safe from that. This is going to be the 3-3. Three, three. Turn this guy to one damage. Okay. And then he's going to hit this, maybe. All right. 
That's a little strange to me, but that's okay. Um, we'll try to play around Consecration as much as we can here. So we'll just uh, put him down, Hero Power, and hit face. We have a charge, um, so as long as he doesn't have a taunt. We're still missing our iron. We need our Iron Beak uh, to really be safe later in the game. But, uh, okay, Muster for Battle is okay, except for the fact that next turn he'll probably be able to... Um, if he has the guy that makes, oh, he to he's totally playing around it. All right, so there's explosive trap. So we'll play ex. Actually, we don't need to play explosive trap, do we? We'll play Wolf Rider. Because what will happen is he has to play the, the guy that makes these three threes. He's going to either have to kill the Wolf Rider with with one of these guys. Okay, he's not going to. He doesn't have it. He has the other issue for us, which is Sludge Belcher. He doesn't have heals, though. Effectively, he only really has, like, four turns. Um... But what we'll do is we'll play him and the Haunted Creeper. We play these two because if we get an animal companion for like three and we draw something that can do two damage, we can kill him. Um, the animal companion that gives plus one, plus one. Liak. Oh, that, that's a spell. So that's a problem. Okay, but this actually gives us a way to get rid of this already. Um, we'll play Knife Juggler out, and then we'll just kill this off. He only has six mana left, and he has this, this little taunt guy that we might be able to get rid of, we might not be able to get rid of. If we draw a weapon, we can. So we have, and then we can go, if we draw like the Glaive Zooka, oh, that, that's too much mana. But again, we're stopping his damage. Hopefully this isn't the heal, the fight. Okay, so it's not. Alright, we got the Wolf Rider. So, what we'll do is we'll play this here. And play Explosive Trap. And pass. If he can't heal and he can't taunt, we're going to win next turn no matter what. If he can, we have a few more issues. But we'll deal with those issues when we get there. And even if he can heal... Minions, Oh wait, he passed? Alright, if this is the charge, we win. I guess we just pass. I don't know if putting Wolf Rider on the board even does anything. He's got a lot of damage though. But if he comes at my face, he loses. I guess we'll just pass. So I guess if this isn't a heal, if he doesn't have a heal this turn, we win. Alright, so we're going to stop that damage anyways. Oh, so we win either way. Not that we ever got a way to win. That one was a little scary. Uh, he had a lot of big cards that he got to, but he wasn't able to get past the trap, so... All right, so we'll keep trying to make this work after the break. Hopefully, we'll stop running into people playing Mystics and just all these taunt guys. Um, but we'll see if it does get if it keeps being really bad and we just didn't get unlucky in the matchmaking. Uh, we'll switch to Milrogue because um, I still think that deck is really strong, and I still think there's a little a couple of tweaks we can make to it. And I believe it's strong, so we can get wins. So we got wins the other day with it. So. Uh, uh, thanks for watching, and we'll be right back.